Hey everybody, Dan here with Pain Free You. As you can see, I'm back at the lake. I've got about five more days here before I wrap up with this awesome month. Um, today's topic is going to be live, don't manage. All right. So I'll get to that in a minute. Let's enjoy the scenery here. Enjoy the uh, the bird song. Breathe in that peace. Exhale the stress and chaos. Breathe in the confidence. Exhale the doubt. I'll let you guys take a look at the lake. Look at the blue sky and cool clouds above the mountain over there. All right, so in one of the group calls yesterday, I was having a conversation with one of the members, as we always do, and uh, she was kind of describing how she goes about her day doing this, doing that. Everything is geared towards, you know, making sure she doesn't overdo it, and I need to schedule this, and I need to make sure I don't do this or do that. And it seemed like she was very much managing her way through her day. Always with the uh, desire to avoid pain at any cost. So much to the point where her entire day was revolving. <coughs> Excuse me, revolving around avoiding the pain. And I get that. I understand that. I did that for a lot of years. And what I will tell you is, by doing that, all she is doing is keeping the pain and the symptoms and sensations in the forefront of every waking moment. And it's making it the most important thing. And what do you think the brain's perception of her situation is? if she is always anxiously trying to avoid this thing called pain or symptoms and managing her body movements, her positions. I should lay down for 20 minutes before I gotta get up and go somewhere. I should do this after I get back. I'm gonna do this. Really managing. I'm not picking on this lady. So uh, if this sounds like you in our conversation, uh, the only reason I'm bringing this up is because it's so common for so many people. And it's so important to realize that by doing everything you can to protect yourself and avoid the symptoms or the pains, all you're really doing is saying to the brain, pay attention, we're in danger, we got trouble here. Don't you dare settle down, don't you dare relax, right? So it seems counterintuitive uh, because, of course, we want to avoid the pain. I'm not suggesting you go out and do jumping jacks or do backflips on a trampoline. But when I say live, don't manage, I mean, get up and think, all right, what do I want to do and need to do? How can I have some fun? How can I be productive? How can I connect with others? How can I live my life instead of manage my way through it in an attempt to control the uncontrollable. So that shows a lot of resistance. The resistance the brain is perceiving is dangerous. As long as there's fear and attention, which this managing your way through the day it has a lot of fear and attention. As long as there's fear and attention, the brain's going to go, I know you're telling me you got this TMS perceived danger pain thing, but I'm not going to calm down because look at all the fear and attention you're giving these symptoms or sensations. So, it is challenging. And again, I'm not suggesting that you go run a marathon tomorrow and throw all caution to the wind. Because if you did that and it flared up really big, that would be a setback and your brain would go, see, I told you it was dangerous. So we want to ease into things, but we don't want to really manage our way through the day. If you need to run to the store, go to the store. Don't rest first and rest after and don't walk slowly and don't, you know, I don't know. There's so many things that we do to accommodate our sensations in an attempt to avoid or control them.
that all we're doing is convincing the brain that we got a problem, right? So, while that's not Tractor Boy, it's Pilot Boy, and he's flying up into those clouds. Wow, how cool is that? Yeah, he just disappeared into the clouds. All right. So, I hope you get the concept I'm talking about here. Live and do what you need to and want to do. And if you can, stop managing so much. Because the managing just really keeps you in fear, keeps the attention on the pain, keeps the danger signals going. And... Uh, in my experience working with a ton of people, that's not beneficial. You know, managing is better than freaking out, right? But living is better than managing. So do what you can to not put your life on hold, to manage your way through every single step of the day, and get out there. Do more. And if the symptoms show up while you're doing more, have a conversation with your brain and say, nope, nope, brain, I know what's going on. We're not doing that. You're just perceiving danger, but really, I'm okay. And then shift your attention away from the sensations. Care less about them. Ideally, indifference. So what? All right? And you'll find that if you can consistently live more, manage less, care less about the symptoms, enjoy more, do more fun things, do more engaging things, you'll find that your brain gets the message. So I'm going to wrap this one up. Just got back to the lake, I don't know, 30 minutes ago, caught up on email. And now uh, it's time to pull the tarp off of that kayak and get out and do a little bit of fishing tonight before it gets dark. So love you guys and gals. Really appreciate you. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Take care.